Electrolysis can be defined as the chemical breakdown of solutions that contain ions. These solutions generally need to be liquid, aqueous, or molten because under these conditions the ions are free to move to the anode and the cathode. In order to carry out the electrolysis of molten lead bromide, we need to have molten lead bromide as an electrolyte. We also need to have two inert electrodes as our anode and our cathode, the anode being the positive electrode and the cathode being the negative electrode. The reason we need the electrodes to be inert is because we don't want them to interfere with the actual chemical process itself. At this point, the chemical reaction starts to happen. The bromine ions, which are negative, start to move to the positive anode, and the Pb2 plus ions, which are positive, move to the negative cathode. This is because opposites attract, as the popular expression goes, so the minus goes to the plus and the plus goes to minus. That's why the two ions have their own specific names. The positive ions are called the cations, and the negative ions are called the anions. Why? Because they correspond to where which electrode they go to. When ions move to their corresponding electrodes, there are two different things that can happen. At the anode, it's oxidation, and at the cathode, it's reduction. Oxidation is when you lose electrons, and reduction is when you gain electrons. Oxidation happens at the anode because when the Br- ions move to the anode, they have too many electrons in relation to their proton number, so they need to lose electrons in order to become neutral while at the cathode, the Pb2 plus ions move there because they have too many protons in relation to their electron number, so they need to gain neutrons in order to become neutral. The oxidation reaction can be described as follows. Br- or a bromine ion loses one electron to become bromine gas, or Br2. These uh, will be in the states Br- gas, of course electrons have no states, and Br2 is also a gas. This also has to be balanced, meaning you add 2Br-, 2E-, and Br2 has 2 anyway, so you don't need to do anything to that. The reduction reaction can be described as follows. Pb2 plus gains 2 electrons to become Pb, or lead. Pb2 plus is going to be the molten form, meaning it is in a liquid state. Again, electrons have no state, and Pb is going to be in a solid state. An equation for the overall formula can be described as follows. PbBr2 in the liquid form becomes Pb plus Br2. Pb in a solid form and Br2 in a gaseous form. 